Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Also known as the SSN-774 class, the Virginia-class nuclear-powered cruise missile fast attack submarines, developed by General Dynamics Electric Boat and Huntington Ingalls Industries, embody the pinnacle of maritime technology. With their cutting-edge stealth capabilities, advanced intelligence gathering systems, and state-of-the-art weaponry, these submarines are a testament to human innovation and the pursuit of national security. The process of dry docking and launching submarines involves intricate steps and careful coordination. Dry docking entails removing a ship from the water to facilitate work on its exterior below the waterline. Ships are constructed on dry docks, with keel blocks positioned and lines prepared to handle the vessel. A qualified dockmaster oversees the operation, using dock-based winches to position the ship. This transition from water buoyancy to dry dock blocks is a critical and potentially dangerous phase as inadequate block strength can lead to the ship overturning. Graving docks are often used for constructing large ships like tankers and aircraft carriers. Once the hull is sufficiently completed, Ships are launched, either by floating in place or sliding into the water. Launching from a building dock involves flooding the dock to the necessary depth. while launching from a building berth can be done endwise, sidewise, or through in-place flotation. Expertise and meticulous planning are essential for a successful ship launch. Employing drag chains and tugs to control the ship's entry and maneuvering in the water. In order to maintain a vigilant watch over the surface of the water, while remaining undetected by surface craft or aerial surveillance, submarines rely on a remarkable device known as the periscope. While the principle behind its design is seemingly straightforward, involving the reflection of objects through mirrors or prisms, the periscope is actually a highly intricate and sophisticated piece of equipment. Its complex construction enables submarines to obtain valuable visual information from a concealed position beneath the waves. By utilizing this ingenious technology, submarines can discreetly observe their surroundings, ensuring operational effectiveness and enhancing their situational awareness in the ever-evolving maritime domain. Now, let's explore the capability of these massive submarines to destroy targets with unparalleled accuracy, utilizing their formidable torpedo missiles. Roll and retrain tube two, stand clear. A torpedo is a cigar-shaped, self-propelled underwater missile specifically designed to be launched from submarines surface vessels, or airplanes. Its primary purpose is to explode upon contact or within proximity of the hulls of surface vessels and submarines, delivering a devastating blow. 
Modern torpedoes are equipped with intricate devices that allow precise control over their depth and direction. They can follow a predetermined plan or adjust their course based on external signals received during the mission. Weapon in motion! Furthermore, these advanced torpedoes are equipped with a sophisticated detonation mechanism that ensures the explosive-filled warhead is triggered upon striking the intended target or even when it comes into close proximity. This remarkable combination of precision guidance and explosive power empowers submarines to eliminate threats with unmatched efficiency, safeguarding vital interests, and bolstering national security in the ever-challenging maritime domain. Life within a submarine is critical, exact, and covert for U.S. Navy submariners. Essential to the defense of our nation, brave sailors dive deep under sea for months at a time, coming up for air only to grab more gear. Thanks to top-notch technology, though, Submarines accommodate hundreds of submariners simultaneously. With little communication with the outside, submariners develop a special kind of bond beneath the sea. Back down the mizzenmast. Rig the mainsail. Oh, sorry. Depending on each other to survive, subsailors have each other's backs no matter what including life without any sun, phones, or windows. But life down under still has its little luxuries. Home to one of the highest rated galleys in the Navy, dinners aboard the pre-commissioning unit South Dakota are not to be missed. Rivaling any land-based restaurant, this multi-billion dollar sub's culinary cooks have their work cut out for them. Serving more than 130 submariners daily, seven chefs make three square meals a day, every day. Starting four hours before each meal, Everything aboard the Virginia-class sub is handmade. From cookie dessert bars and bread pudding to omelets and pizza, this deep-sea crew has everything they need to stay fueled. During Santa Fe Virtual Navy Week, submariners on USS New Mexico hosted a remote tour of their submarine. One of the most critical parts of the USS New Mexico is the submarine's topside. This includes its VLS defense system, where submariners fire tomahawks from when needed. Located in the lockout trunk is an emergency escape, where sailors can also conduct deep diving missions underwater. USS New Mexico is composed of three levels, lower, middle, and upper. This includes emergency air breathers, fire control, sub control, and even a torpedo room. Used to defend the crew at all costs, the torpedo tube is where torpedoes underwater launched missiles are fired from. But the crew's mess, berthing, and chief's quarters are its heart. Submariners at PCU Indiana spend their free time as any young person would. Watching TV with crewmates, playing board games like chess, and blasting away with handheld video games. That was a 
was the poem's motto? Reading books aloud is also a great way to pass the time among submariners, with sailors snickering at the story's punchlines. During a stop near the North Pole, sailors from USS Seawolf let off steam on a snowy bank with a friendly football game. As they passed the ball around, the Seawolf crew enjoyed fresh air for the first time in what seemed like months under the ocean. In 2014, USS Columbia returned to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam after six months in the Pacific Southwest. As the fast attack vessel approached the shore, music accompanied the sailors as they docked. Navy families and friends anxiously awaited their submariners' return as they relaxed to local music. Filled with bittersweet greetings, this submarine's docking was successful, but not all vessels make it home from sea. As submarines sail silently under sea, work beneath the sea takes up much of its sailors' time. Submarine diving can be lethal, so it's crucial that Navy divers practice routine drills on the regular for their protection. In fact, Onboard USS Texas, a Virginia-class sub, its submariner's safety takes top priority. With a depth limit of up to 240 meters, or more than 800 feet, most sailors on this nuclear sub know that practicing diving makes perfect. Sailors are well rehearsed in case a fire breaks out on their vessels, too, equipped with escape hatches for the following predicament. Fire from the deep fat fire. Rig for fire and general emergency. In the Navy's eyes, training its team against the worst threats is its number one concern. Historically, Fire drills have had the most devastating effect on these nuclear submarines. Respectively, these exercises are commonly practiced to protect against casualties. Specialized submariners run reactor and flooding drills as well. Even the most seasoned sailors even practice their safety drills while stationed in port. Right. Using the wet trainer and firefighting trainer as their guides, the Navy makes sure every submariner knows what to do no matter what. Of course, observing U.S. Navy submarine safety means stellar maintenance practices. Back on USS Texas, sailors perform daily exercises and maintenance routines while coasting the Pacific. Submariners check their heat exchange, filter, cooler, and catalyst switches for optimal safety. Entering vital data into advanced tools as they go, Sailors perform these critical performance checks with ease. Some even grab hold of a submarine-sized steering wheel to ensure things are on course. From oil and heat to battery life sensors, 
everything has to be monitored to a T for excellent results under C. That means fluid and filter changes are customary safety habits too. Ultimately, team safety is critical to deep sea submarine operations. From the moment a submarine is laid in dry dock to the day it completes its first deep sea trial, every stage of its life reflects extraordinary precision, discipline, and innovation. These vessels operate in an unforgiving environment where pressure, darkness, and isolation test both machine and crew. Yet, it is within this extreme domain that the United States Navy demonstrates its greatest strength. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.